Spread your wings of belief. Heaven letter number 5801. October 12, 2016. To live your truth, to be in your truth, to accept the truth, is no less than discovering a lovely glade in, of all places, right in your front yard. No longer is the glade hidden from sight. You may have heretofore thought you lacked wondrousness. The truth of you is that you are wondrous. To be a human being in a body reflects more of heaven than you, at present, see. You do not see, yet you do merit. You are what I created, and you are my vision, and my vision is true. Catch up to me, and, therefore, to yourself. I say you are a real live breathing angel. I say you have the wing spread of an angel. You shake your head no. You may tell yourself that you believe in me wholeheartedly, while you tend to toss off what I declare as true, as if I am a nice misguided god, far away in the sky somewhere. Do you indulge me? Do you believe in me, and doubt what I say? Do you say it is too big a leap to take me at my word? Behind the scene lies the unseen. Stretch your belief in me to believe, at the very least, in the possibility of what I say. If you have to use your imagination, then start with your imagination. Imagine you. Sure, you are on earth, and, sure, you are in a body. Nevertheless, you are soul, and soul, your soul, has all the freedom in the world as in heaven. You are, with body or not, a free soul. There are no heights you cannot climb. Spread your wings of belief. You are my desire come true. I more than believe in you. I created you as a reflection of me. My eye is keen. You see limits. I see no limits. Furthermore, I created you as I created you. I know what I created. I know an angel on earth when I see one. Naming you as an honest to goodness angel, this seems far fetched to you. Stretch your boundaries. What I say is true is true. It is not arbitrary. It is a given. Accept yourself as I gave you to be. Body is the illusion. Spirit is the truth. Accept. Accept truth and doubt the obstacles you put before you. You blindfold yourself, yet you are not blind, or, we can say that you are selectively blind. You cover your eyes. You hesitate to see the god and gold you are made of. You are inevitably an angel created by my love. You are not the hasty sketch you and others have made of you and themselves. Unmask yourself. What makes you think you are wiser than I? Do you have the idea that you see better than I do? You do not see far enough. It is insensible for you to deny what I say, and yet you go out on a limb of ignorance. You are fearful to walk out on a limb of an amazing tree. What I make of you, I made you. What if you believe me? That which you are is staunchly behind the scenes of common knowledge, pushed aside in the crowdedness of disbelief. Don't believe then. Consider the possibility of truth. Aspire. Aspire then to be the angel I attest to. You are faint of heart when it comes to belief in yourself. Discover your being. Step out. Dare to be the truth of yourself. What do you think it means to be spirit on earth? Your spirit flies far afield. You do not wander in darkness. Darkness is a facade, a trumped up cloudiness that you make out as true. You accept ignorance and inability as excuses not to stand up for yourself. You declare your vast ignorance on earth when, in fact, you are elegance on earth. No longer perpetuate a myth. Enough of flouting ignorance. Stake your claim. On behalf of a faint-hearted world, and on behalf of a God on earth and in heaven, live the truth you are. Catch up to yourself. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org